Hello YouTube, Beat Theory, back another kicking action figure review. Today's review is over the GameStop exclusive Batman Arkham Knight DC Collectibles Red Hood figure. Yeah, it's really cool. First we're going to take a look at the box just real fast. Batman Arkham Knight right on the front. Red Hood window. It's real techy looking. Got Red Hood on the side there. Very nice box. GameStop exclusive. And, you know, this is Wave 1 Batman, which I'm not sure if I'm going to get. Arkham Knight definitely getting and Scarecrow and Harley Quinn are really cool too. You got kind of like a little infographic, well there's no really, not really any info, just kind of like a scan of Red Hood there, Batman up top, very cool, there's the bottom, you know, Batman, Arkham Knight, and there's Red Hood, exclusive, just very, very cool, Bat symbol up top, and very nice, so now let's get this guy out of packaging. Alright, here's our Red Hood out of packaging, Jason Todd's looking really good, I've really wanted like a modern Red Hood for a while, I was going to need the new 52 one, but this guy moves a lot better, and I just, I really like that kind of smoother face look. I don't really like the mouth on the New 52 one. It's weird. But yeah, here he is. Arkham Knight, Red Hood, looking great. Really like him. Uh, as you can see, he does come with two guns like this one. They slip into his hands really easily, actually. He's got his little emblem there. And he's got a nice hilt. Pretty good paint apps on this thing actually it's not just a big silver gun I'm not sure what type of gun this is is this very huge exaggerated gun um, maybe alien tech or something I know Red Hood's been known to have some alien tech and etc recently don't know it's got a nice little barrel on it it's a really cool gun and they do fit in his hands really easily they just go right in you don't have to stretch out the hands and stuff but really cool and I'm just gonna pop it out of his hand for a sec so I can Talk about detail and paint. Let's back up a little. But yeah, detail and paint on this guy is pretty good. Uh, you can obviously tell that he painted his own symbol on because he doesn't really have all the money that Batman does. You see how it's like jag and stuff. Some people might think that's bad paint amps, but I, it's actually because he painted it on himself. So that's why it's not all clean and smooth and stuff. It's not fancy industrial stuff. He just painted it up because you see... You know, he's got, like, cuts and stuff where he's been stabbed or shot, and he's had to, like, patch him up. He's got the symbol on the back, too, and he's stitched it up, actually, as you can see. But it's, like, obviously been smeared on there. But he's got a really cool jacket, like, white, and just really nice. Gray torso here. Uh, the red hood helmet looks nice. Very, very cool-looking helmet. Uh, he got a rubber hood, which is the hood part of red hood, obviously. You know, you got... Gun holding hands, which look kind of thin, but whatever, get over it. He's got his clips on the side, which look nice. Some scuffing on these, but no big deal. Some bullets on the back of his belt there. Just really all over. Nice shin guards, I suppose. You got some detail on the joints, which is real nice. His pants look dirty, like he's been, you know, fighting and stuff. He's all scraped up. Very nice. Got some detail on the bottom of his feet, a peg hole. Just a really nice looking figure. Great paint apps and stuff. He looks really good. Really good. And now articulation. You know, you saw the hood could move a little earlier, but it doesn't lay flat back. There's no interchangeable hoods or anything. And the head can go side to side some and up a little bit, but, you know, not too much. And you got a nice up and down on the arms. It's really good. Forward and back's really not bad at all. And then you got like a swivel there on the bicep as you can see double elbow bend and you got like forward and back on the wrists you got a rotation there also very nice you got some articulation of torso it doesn't seem to want to come forward it does go back a little but it's not real great you got a waist swivel there really nice in and out on the legs you know you got that forward back not bad you got a thigh swivel double knee bend working really well there and then you've got down, a little bit of up on the foot, and an ankle pivot in there also. So yeah, he's got a really good articulation for a DC Collectibles figure. Uh, I really like these more realistic looking figures, like the video game figures and the arrow figures are my favorite DC Collectibles right now. So I'm really hoping that they do movie figures for Batman Superman. Hopefully that'll get announced soon or something, because, you know, I really, I really want those. And if they have already been announced, well, that just gives you an idea of the time frame I'm filming this. This guy just came out like a week or two ago when I'm filming this, so... Yeah, more like a week. About a week. It's been about a week since this guy came out. But yeah, a really, really cool figure. 
Now about some of those uh, size comparisons. Here is some of the more realistic DC collectibles. Here on the left we have the Batman from Arkham Origins. Really, really great figure, actually. I really like it. I think he looks good with Jason Todd here. Uh, about the same height, but, you know, Jason Todd would be an adult at this point, right? So, it's really cool. And then here on the right, we have Season 1 Arrow from the 2-pack. He'll scale well with your Season 2 Arrow also. And they look great together. You know, he'll work really well with your Arrow figures, like Deadshot, Merlin, Deathstroke, and etc. But, yeah, you know, so he looks great with your DC Collectibles. Now, here's Red Hood with some comic figures from DC Collectibles. These are all New 52 figures. Here on the left, you have the Designer Series New 52 Batman. And here on the right, we have the Forever Evil Ultraman. Honestly, Batman's looking a little small. Yeah. Looking a little small. I mean, I know his legs don't come together as well. You see Batman's legs are kind of spread and Red Hoods are straight up. So once you pose these guys together, you know, they'll probably look good. But, you know, just standing vanilla like this, Batman's too small. Normally, I'd say Red Hood's too big, but Red Hood seems like he's fine with Ultraman. He's still a little big for Ultraman. But just a little bit, like not enough to really matter. You know what I mean? Like he looks, he looks good with the Arrow and uh, other Arkham figures, but maybe a little bigger than some of the more recent comic figures because you know this Batman and Ultraman are pretty recent, you know, all things considered. So yeah, he's gonna look better with the more realistic ones. The comic ones maybe a tiny bit smaller, but they still don't look bad together. Now here he is with some more realistic movie DC characters, but from the Mattel line. Now here on the left we have the movie Masters Green Lantern Sinestro, and here on the right we have the Dark Knight Rises Alfred. And he's obviously way too big for both of them. He's not going to scale well with your movie Masters at all. Not Man of Steel, not any of the Batman stuff, it's just not going to happen. Red Hood's really not going to scale well with your other Mattel figures either. Here he is with the Infinite Series New 52 Shazam, which is a San Diego Comic Con exclusive. And then on the other side, Power Girl from DC Universe Classics. Yeah, and he's obviously way too big for them. Uh, there is a Jason Todd Red Hood that you can get in this scale, but... Nah. This one's way cooler. But, yeah, you know, he's not going to scale up well with these lines. Signature Collection, DC Unlimited, DC Universe Classics, All-Star. You know, it's just, it's not going to work out. No. This Red Hood really needs to be with your... More seven-inch figures, DC collectibles, DC direct. You know, that's just what you need them with. That's just how it's how it's got to be. I'm sorry. Uh, he'll probably scale well with the Diamond Select Gotham figures that are coming out based on the TV show. Uh, Diamond Select normally kind of does their figures like that in the seven-inch scale, so they'll probably scale with this Jason Todd actually. But for now, you know. The Arrow and other Arkham, you know, Rocksteady Batman figures are really what he's going to look best with. So all in all, with my final thoughts on the GameStop exclusive DC Collectibles Arkham Knight Jason Todd Red Hood figure. Well, it's really cool. You know, I'm really loving this figure. Great paint apps, good articulation, scales well with the other Batman figures in this line, and the Arrow figures, which is actually really important to me because... Most of my DC Collectibles figures are quickly going to become Arrow. So, yeah, Arrow figures are definitely within my reach. I have a few of them now, but I'm definitely displaying this Jason Todd with them. Because he's going to look great. But, you know, honestly, this figure just is... He's really good. He's a really good figure. He holds his weapons really well. I just got the Arrow Deadshot, and he holds his pistols better than the Arrow Deadshot holds his. A dead shot can't even hold his main sniper rifle, actually. But this guy holds his weapons really well. They pop in easily. They don't warp the hands. They're really cool looking. And he holds them really well. They don't wobble around or anything. He He's really great. He holds his weapons very well. I'm, I really like that in a figure. So all in all, this guy's getting four out of five stars. If he had, like, better articulation in the head and maybe the torso area... He'd easily be a 5, but it's just a tiny bit of articulation I would have liked on this guy. But, honestly, 4 out of 5 stars. Very close to a 5, though. I highly recommend this figure if you're a Batman fan, a DC Collectibles fan. It'd even be great if you're just an Arrow fan and want a Red Hood for your Arrow collection. 
He's really cool. Arrow is a good show, in case you haven't realized that. But yeah, that's it, you guys. Four out of five stars. Remember, rate, comment, subscribe. Check out all the links in the description below. Facebook, Twitter, all that jazz. Last review, etc. And thank you all so much. I'll see you all later.